Well, uh, very good morning to all of you and uh, from those of you who are from out of town, welcome to uh, Christchurch. Don't let the pictures put you off, all right? We, uh, of course, don't know exactly where we are in this extraordinary uh, seismic cycle in terms of what will uh, Mother Earth hold in store for us, but it's looking like it's all trending in the right direction at the moment, although if you're a local and if you're like me, when it gets quiet, you always start to wonder if there's something else lurking out there somewhere. I know that movie, which is uh, brilliant, Jared, and you did a superb job, but I was unable to go and see it uh, just because I couldn't bring myself to do it. It, was, it just felt like it was going to be too traumatic to go back into that space and I try to untangle the memories of the first few weeks in order to uh, start writing them down. And it's like uh, working with a great big ball of knotted string. There are just so many pieces that seem to be missing or tangled or out of sequence. And I think for all of us who went through that time, it is something that will shape the rest of our lives on a human and psychological level, just as it's going to reshape our city in a, a way that uh, we've worked together on as uh, a community, but in a way that we still can't really understand or see. So although this has been the most extraordinarily traumatic and terrible time for all of us, there is nobody in this town who hasn't lost something or has lost someone or knows of a friend or hasn't seen the site of a building that's collapsed that you and I have been into many times or walked down a part of the street where lives were lost or been in a suburb and grown up where now there are really just weeds and broken remains of houses. It is an extraordinary event, just to put it into some sort of scale at the prosaic level of council infrastructure, we've got 900 kilometres of road to rebuild. It's like building a new highway from Wellington to Auckland. We've got well over 300 kilometres of sewer mains to replace. That's like running a new pipe all the way down to Timaru and heading back with it as well. Over 125 kilometres of mains, the main water mains, new reservoirs to build. And that's just on the material level. I think as a community, we have made remarkable advances in a very difficult time. And this adversity which shapes us is also the most extraordinary opportunity that we could ever have. And out of the pain and out of the loss, it's incumbent on us, this generation of people, to shape a new city, to shape a new future. And it is the most extraordinarily exciting opportunity that we could ever have. The world is filled with cities around about the size of Christchurch. If you take in the greater Christchurch area, it's about half a million people contributing to this city. And that's the most common city size on the planet. And they're being abandoned by young people in huge numbers as the mega cities suck people in. And we have now an opportunity to do something about that in this city. It's a problem right across the OECD. Aging populations and central city areas in particular that have struggled to find a place in the strength of the new suburban developments that have taken place particularly over the last 50 years. It's an unparalleled opportunity. And if we do it right, if we fulfill this task that has fallen to us at this time, we can give this city a new future and a new purpose and a long life, and we can correct the problems that plague small, medium cities right around the world. It's an extraordinary challenge. It's a really exciting time to be in this place. And although the task at any one moment, if you look right across it, seems so incredibly daunting, one thing is really clear. I have yet to meet a person who does not have a passion or an idea or a hope or an aspiration or belief in this place. It's what has tied us together. Look at the tiny number of people that have actually left this city. It's extraordinary. Look at the number of businesses that survive in people's houses and front rooms or adapted buildings around Christchurch. And although there won't be a huge rush to reoccupy the center of the city, people will wait and see the quality of the environment that we can create. People are poised to take that opportunity if we do our job well. And that's your job. We're all leaders in this process. This is our city. 
It's our thoughts, our creativity, and our desires that can help us correct the imbalance of small cities around the world and fill our place with creative young people who will have a great future. So I uh, wish you well today. It's an exciting and very, very interesting day, and ideas will flow from this, I'm sure, that will be part of shaping the way that we redevelop our city in a garden. So thank you, and all the best today.